Do you feel dread at the mention of math? Maybe you feel scared, angry, or frustrated whenever you have to write a math test. You, my friend, might have math anxiety. But don't worry, you're not alone. According to some surveys, one in five adults self-report having math anxieties. And even more surprisingly, one in four math teachers say that they have math anxieties. We're talking about math teachers here. My name is Jess, and I am a math educator with over seven years of math teaching experience. I've helped thousands of students improve their math skills and ace their math class, many of them with math anxiety. So what exactly is math anxiety? You know how you feel super relaxed during summer vacation or the winter holiday break? And just before school starts or right before you have to write a math test or math exam, you feel worried, uneasy, or simply scared. And you can't exactly explain why. That could be math anxiety. There could be physical symptoms as well. For example, sweating. Or maybe you feel like your heart is racing a million beats per minute when your teacher is asking you a math question or right before you're writing a math test. The thing is, you might not have even seen the math question yet. Just the thought of it is bringing you fear and maybe even tears. And with math anxiety, you can technically develop it at any age, as young as elementary school or high school, college, even in your adult life. But most students I work with who have math anxiety usually experience it in full form in high school. Why? Well, I think it's because in high school, you start to learn much harder concepts that build on each other. You're learning some pretty complex stuff. Solving multivariable equations, exploring different function types like logs, exponentials, and trigs, learning about more abstract mathematical modeling. It could also be because there's more pressure when it comes to testing in high school, standardized or not standardized. You might just feel like marks matter more and that can make you more anxious. Now, if you have math anxiety, I want to tell you a little secret. There are tips and tricks that you can use to help you overcome math anxiety or at least keep it in check to make it more manageable. This can help you improve your math grade on math tests and maybe even encourage you to get into some math heavy fields with high earning potential, like science, engineering, uh, medicine, or software, and so on. So how exactly do we overcome math anxiety? Tip number one, if you're the type to freeze up before a math test, I have some math test interventions for you. I call the first one, the write it down intervention. There are so many studies that link math anxiety with working memory. Think of working memory as a temporary space in your brain that helps you keep track and store information so you can make more immediate conscious decisions. This space is pretty limited. By writing down these thoughts and fears before your math test, you are literally freeing up this working memory so that you have more memory power to work on strategy and procedure-based problem-solving techniques. The second math test intervention involves breathing exercises. By controlling your breathing, you are freeing your mind of these anxious thoughts and bringing in good amounts of oxygen into your lungs and your brain. Make sure to give these a try before your next math test. You can try breathing in for four seconds, holding it a little bit, and then exhaling for six seconds. Or you can try the alternating nostril breathing technique. Close off one nostril, breathe in through the left nostril. Then close off the left nostril and breathe out through the right one. Alternate this way for a few times to get the maximum benefits of it. Tip number two, get some support and additional practice. If you're one of those lucky people who can process information and learn new math concepts really quickly just by listening to your teacher talk about it once, then lucky you, I am very, very jealous of you. If you're like me and the hundreds of other students I worked with who have math anxiety, Hearing a concept being explained once or seeing one example is not enough to grasp that new concept. You, my friend, might benefit from some additional math support. Lucky for us, we live in the day of the internet, and there are tons of support resources out there, like WISE. Think of the WISE support resources like a 24-7 pocket tutor. You can watch and rewatch the video lessons as many times as you need to at the speed that works for you whenever you want. 
There are also many additional practice questions that start easy and slowly build up in difficulty so that you can build up your math skills, but more importantly, build up your math confidence. Every lesson and practice question also comes with a little Q&A box. That's pretty special. It means that you can ask questions anytime and you can even do that anonymously. Give it a try today at wiseprep.com. Tip number three, I call it the I love math culture. Last year, I tutored a student with math anxiety who was terrified at math. Before every tutoring session, we practiced reciting, I love learning new math concepts, and I will succeed in math. With some hard work, this student ended up with a 95% in grade 12 math, 95%. There really is no such thing as a person who's naturally bad at math or someone who's naturally a math person. You need to get rid of that from your brains. I believe that positive math messaging, whether it's internal or external, can be very, very helpful in learning new math concepts and overcoming math anxiety. Now make sure to give these tips a try and see your love for math and your math performance improve. If you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the WISE channel so we can help you reach your full academic potential.